Welcome to FiberCell Systems. Today, we'll show a video of how one goes about setting up a flow path and hollow fiber cartridge for the hollow fiber infection model. This is where cath that goes on to the diluent reservoir. This will be either four liters, and we also have eight liter ones, and so we'll get the part numbers for that. We have tubing, we have specific tubing that goes into the peristaltic pump. And then this is going to be our central reservoir. This is very important. This is our five port cap, so it has five ports to it. The cartridge we're going to use, we've got more tubing, and again, peristaltic pump tubing. Then this will be the cap that goes into our diluent. We have a bit of tubing that's going to allow it to reach into the bottom of the diluent reservoir. And this can be pre filled with broth. have a filter. You'll see we've got two size filter here. We've got some tubing. It's going to go here. Hook that up to our peristaltic pump tubing. This is an example of the kinds of peristaltic pumps we can use. We definitely want to use one that snaps in place. So we can remove it. We'll do an autoclave it. This is an autoclavable 250 mil reservoir, and here's our five port cap. And then it's important to have the diluent out level to be set at where we want the central reservoir to remain constant at. And this is gonna be our vent, and we wanna make sure that stays out of liquid, and you'll see that these can pull up and down fairly easily, especially if you run them under a little bit of water, they can move up and down pretty easily. So we'll have that. So we're gonna run from here. This is going to be our diluent in to the central reservoir. Two sizes that we can work with. I tend to like the bigger ones to make sure that we never have any issues with pressure, but these are a little bit smaller. We don't have to worry about maybe some weight and kinking. This is a little more convenient to go into the central reservoir, but it's very important to have a vent on the central reservoir. Now from here, we're gonna to go to our diluent. Diluent out, through the peristaltic pump. Yeah, this is pump tubing that can just go into the peristaltic pump like that. And then here, this is for our waste. So it's not so important that we have tubing to go to the bottom, but it is still super important to have a vent. And we'll go from here there. So we, then we go from our diluent vent out of the bottom of the bottle into the central reservoir with a vent, diluent out, and they each have their own separate peristaltic pumps. There are different ways that we can set that up, but it's easiest now with little uh, digital peristaltic pumps to set the flow rates where we want them to be to maintain the central reservoir at a constant level. Out to, and then into our waste. Here we have our vent. Tubing down at the bottom, diluent through the pump, central reservoir, we have our vent. We have these here, the level of the um, central reservoir will remain constant here, out of the peristaltic pump, back to our waste. So we have this set up so that all we need to do then is cover this up. And this is all set one entire piece. Now we've pulled everything out of the out of the autoclave, and then we need to do this next step in the hood. So I always like to show people the proper way to handle this. Let's go with some alcohol. Backspin, just like that. Okay, the next thing that I just want to focus on is going to be sampling in these claves. 
because they're set up so that we sample aseptically. This you'll sample many times an hour, sometimes. Be sure that you wipe it down. Well, that's how we can perform samples in the incubator. And the last thing I want to show is if you want to um, do some more tubing, do a drug infusion. This is good. So if we want to do the, most people do a bolus infusion of the drug, but if you want to do a, um, in the absorption curve as well as the elimination curve, we just put a three-way softcock here. This will go on to a syringe pump containing your drug, do the infusion, and then we can just turn it off so it goes the other way, oh, it needs to go this way actually, like that.